Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today we're going to be running a handgun through an ultrasonic cleaner to see how well it cleans it up. Okay, so the handgun that we're going to be using is a Ruger LC9. This is my everyday carry. I've been carrying this thing for about a year now without having cleaned it once and just last weekend I ran 50 rounds through it and it is filthy. There is just a buildup of lint and just gunk and dirt and everything. So I want to be able to clean this and see how well the ultrasonic cleaner does because let's be honest no one likes cleaning their guns after they use them. Everybody loves shooting but I don't think anybody likes cleaning their guns. Also, I want to know how well it cleans down in the trigger because I haven't removed my trigger because I don't want to mess anything up. There's a lot of little moving parts down there. So maybe if this works right, once a year I'll throw these guys, um, my guns, into the ultrasonic to get all the crap out of there because I noticed that there is a lot of buildup down in the trigger. Now you can see down in here there is just a bunch of crud and crap, especially around like the hammer and in there. It's really difficult to clean and that is what I'm hoping is going to be coming out. Here you can see the slide. This is how gunked up it looks in the back here. Uh, some powder residue, just normal junk and the firing pin. There's a lot of stuff on this. <clears throat> okay, so here is a little tip that my buddy Mike told me about. He does all of his stuff in Ziploc baggies. This is a really cool idea. Basically what he does, is this is, works really well for carbs also, he uses a simple green heavy duty cleaner, 50% of that and 50% distilled water. Fill the baggie up so it covers just your parts and stuff. You don't need a lot and then take this entire baggie and put it in your sonic cleaner with just normal tap water. Enough so it covers the baggie. What this does is it keeps all of your dirty cruddy crap inside the Ziploc bag and it doesn't get your sonic cleaner all messy and you have to continually clean it out after every cycle. So just get, after you're done with the 50-50 solution, dump this out put in straight distilled water in a new Ziploc bag, you put all that stuff in there and do it on another cycle so it gets all of the heavy duty cleaner out and it's just straight distilled water. Okay, now that we have everything together, we are at 50 degrees Celsius and which is around 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna do this for 15 minutes. Okay, so here we are. That is some really dirty water. Might actually just run that through one more time because that is disgusting. The very last step that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to blow all of the water off of this. You don't want any water sitting in all these little cracks and crevices. So the best thing to do is take a air compressor with an air gun and blow all the water out. If you don't have one, use a hair dryer, heat it out. Just don't let any water sit in here longer than it needs to because it's gonna rust up. That's the last step. I am super impressed with this. Um, this is probably something that I'm gonna be doing a lot more often. There's places in here that I could not get to even with a little dental pick, and it just cleaned up so well. So I'm very happy with this, and I'm probably gonna do it a lot more. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, head over to Appalachian DIY, and make sure you subscribe. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.